Ah, lifetime cloud storage. Lifetime sounds awesome, right? Hi everyone, in this video, I'm sharing my favorite cloud services that offer lifetime storage plans. If you know me, then you know I love all the benefits of using cloud storage services. Not needing to worry about losing all my files if my hard drive malfunctions is an absolute blessing, especially in my professional settings. I also love how easy it is to share files and collaborate with my work colleagues. Not to mention sharing my food things with my mom when I'm on my travels. <laughs> mom, if you're watching, I love you. But if I had one complaint about cloud storage, it would be the constant monthly fees. I get it. Subscriptions are all part of the world we now live in, but you know, it would be really nice to pay a one-off fee and never have to worry about it again, all while guaranteeing my storage space for the rest of my days. I admit, I'm totally tied to the Apple ecosystem. I got my iPhone, I have my MacBook Air, and we have a desktop Macintosh here in our studio, you name it. So. Obviously, I'm also using iCloud and I'm paying for iCloud on a monthly basis. While iCloud has gotten a lot better over the years, it still, to be honest, kind of sucks. And obviously, there's no lifetime options. Same with Google Drive, if you are more in the Android ecosystem. You see, not many services offer lifetime storage plans. Of course, that's because they want to get as much money out of you as possible while hoping you reach a point where you need more storage capacity to upgrade your plan so they can make even more money out of you. Thankfully, there are some services that offer lifetime storage plans. I don't really remember when all this lifetime storage started. It was definitely a couple of years ago because I know that our top contenders in this video have been offering lifetime cloud storage for at least five years. So we had our time to test those services out and show you the best options. So in this video, I'll be covering eCloud, iStrive, Google Drive, Mega, and Sync.com. I'll share which is the best option towards the end of the video. So as usual, make sure to stick around for that because uh, I'll reveal a little bit of the secrets that you need to know before hopping onto lifetime storage. Before I start covering the services, just a polite reminder to please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to push out more and more content and I don't really want you to miss any of it. Also be sure to like the video and also, very important, tap the bell icon so you're notified when I next publish my video and it's not lost in your YouTube feed. Let's get into the meat of this video, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to start with Mega, Sync.com and Google Drive. There's a slight technicality here as they don't offer officially lifetime plans, at least not on their paid options. But I wanted to include them because they do offer some of the best free plans, which you can keep and use forever. And if you'd like to do so, you can combine several of the free options, which will give you a substantial amount of free storage to use every month or every year for all of your files. In terms of storage, Mega offers up to 30 gigabytes of storage space for the first 12 months. After that, you continue with only 20 gigabytes. Google Drive offers 15 gigabytes of storage space for as long as your account is active, and Sync.com comes with five gigabytes, which you can bump to 20 gigabytes if you convince so many friends to sign up for the service. If you're big into security and privacy, I don't have to tell you that Google Drive won't be for you as a company that's long been suspected of scanning user files, right? The good news is, that Sync.com and Mega both offer zero knowledge encryption. What this means is nobody can access your files unless you give them permission, not even the people working for each respective company. I will be honest, if you're new to cloud storage and you don't mind a bit of in-house snooping, Google Drive is gonna be very good, if not the best option. It's a service you'd recommend to someone who just wants to back up some family photos and perhaps work on a document or two. So very basic, very easy, very straightforward. If you're a professional photographer or part of a company, Mega or Sync.com are your best bet. Mega has some very cool features like communication tools and Sync.com 
has just the best security around. In fact, Sync.com is my favorite cloud storage service in almost all categories. Not all categories, and you're <laughs> you can know more about which categories I didn't like in Sync.com in my other reviews here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Or browse through our video archive and the links that I'm going to leave you in the description box below. Obviously, for all the content that I mentioned, we also have most of the time a written review on CloudWords.net. So if you'd just like to read about all of our findings about the services, those links are in the description so you can read them at your own leisure. I know, I know. The limited storage space on the free plans won't cut it for many of you. And I don't assume that you came to this video because you wanted a free plan, but instead you wanted a lifetime plan. So if you need more space and don't like paying monthly fees, you may want to consider iStrive. Now, iStrive goes back and forth when offering lifetime plans. At the time of recording this video, they do offer a lifetime account. Make sure to click link in the description box below to find out if they still have that offer available at the moment. Suffice it to say that once you sign up for a lifetime account, you'll be grandfathered into this program so they will not cancel it on you. Instead, they will just lock it out for new users to join. So make sure to click the link and see if it's still available. The question is, what do you actually get and how much does it cost? Well, for one, uh, there is a plan for $299 that gets you 512 gigabytes of storage space. And there's also a two terabyte and a 10 terabyte option. The latter will set you back about 1,200 US dollars. Currently, they're offering plans and they're offering stacks. So you could either go for one of the plans above or you can stack lifetime storage for a one-time payment. Currently, they're offering 128 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and two terabytes. To be honest, their pricing scheme is a bit convoluted and my top recommendation has a much, I would say, clearer breakdown, which I'll cover in a minute, so stay tuned. If you're wondering if it's really worth it to sign up for this lifetime offering of Vice Drive, look at it this way. Just over two terabyte of storage space would cost you just shy of, say, $500, and it essentially lasts forever. For one terabyte of storage space, you'll pay $799 per month on the month to month plan, obviously, which would take you around five years to reach the same value as the lifetime plan. So if you plan on using the service for a very long time, absolutely, in my opinion, this option is worth it. Moving away from all these a little bit confusing numbers, let me tell you why, my, why I'm a big fan of iStrive. It has the most beautiful design of any cloud storage service around. And honestly, guys, viewing my files is such a joy when using the service, especially when I'm looking at my photographs. It's also very easy to use. And thanks to the uncomplicated layout of the user interface, even my mom can use it. And you're also going to like this. It has zero knowledge encryption, so your files are nice and private, just how they should be. The best lifetime cloud storage service is, drumroll, obviously pCloud. If you've been following us, you know that we like pCloud. It is one of our top rated services in different categories and lifetime cloud storage is a pretty strong contender for a lot of users that visit our website. You see, unlike the rest, it offers lifetime plans all year round. It has a ton of plans and storage options as well. So there is essentially something for everyone. Some of the highlights include the base level plan that has 500 gigabytes of storage for a one-time payment of $199. And the top tier personal plan offers a whopping 10 terabyte of storage space for a one-off payment of around 1,200. If you'd like to invite your family, you can go for the family plan, which in includes five users. It's a bit more expensive, though coming in at around um, 1,500 US dollars. I'll leave a link to the review in the description below, so you can take a look at the full range of pCloud lifetime plans and can also compare what, uh, what are the individual features of each plan. For example, in the lifetime family plan, you can obviously invite your family. You have more users than in the individual plan that only you can use. pCloud also offers zero knowledge encryption, but it's unfortunately not all good news here, I'm afraid. You see, unlike Mega and Sync.com, 
Encryption doesn't come as part of your standard subscription. Frustratingly, you have to pay extra to get it. And on the lifetime plans, that's an extra $150, which I personally think lets the service go down a little bit in, in the rating. Let me put my frustrations to one side and tell you what I really like about pCloud. As someone who listens to a lot of music, I really like pCloud's built-in media player. It has cool features that allow me to skip through my tracks, shuffle them, and create playlists. As a content creator, I'm always working with large video files. So that 10 terabyte plan is perfect for me because it lets me back up so much content that I don't have to stress out about running out of storage space. And what's also great is I can upload files of any size so pCloud always offers a home for my content, including my longer videos. For example, our best cloud storage for video um, video is 20 minutes in length. And obviously that's a lot of terabyte to upload. You can find the video right here if you're interested in that as well. And pCloud has no problems uploading and sharing that um, files with that uh, gigabyte amount. The service comes with your standard uh, syncing features that you would expect from the likes like Dropbox or Google Drive, like being able to access your files on multiple devices. And I really like its advanced features too, like block level synchronization and selective sync, which I use on the desktop app a lot. I've tested the app extensively over the course of several years, and I can say it's one of the easiest to use. It's fast too, so you can get your files in the cloud in almost no time at all. Although it's mainly positive news with pCloud and its lifetime plans, there are like some things that you should consider before really committing. First off, there's always the risks that a company goes out of business and that lifetime plan, well, doesn't last a lifetime. But don't panic. pCloud has been around for over a decade, so it's pretty unlikely that they'll go out of business anytime soon. But still, it's something to keep in mind because you never know. And obviously, we cannot give any guarantee that a service will persist over the years. We've seen cloud storage services come and go, and pCloud is certainly one of the more consistent, one of the longer lasting services out there. And obviously, the lifetime plans aren't <laughs> exactly cheap considering you're like forking out a large chunk of cash up front. So if you don't want to do a lifetime plan, you can find affordable option on its monthly and yearly plans. So be sure to check them out as well. So with those plans, you can essentially test the waters, if you will, and see if you like the service and then later upgrade to a lifetime subscription. So you don't have to pay month to month. I am really curious to know which service you intend to use out of the options I mentioned in this video. Let me know in the comments below and I always enjoy reading your thoughts. Also, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit a like and tap that bell icon so you get notified when I post my next video. Also share this video with a friend that really helps the algorithm gods here so that more people can find out about our channel. Until next time, see ya.